Today, you're gonna to learn eight ways to find a massive amount of leads for your business. And the best thing about these eight ways is they're not gonna cost you a single penny. So let's get into it. So how do we get more customers for our business? Well, we can either pay for them or we can get them organically. We'll touch on paid later on, but the majority of this video, the eight points are gonna be focused around how to get leads or new customers without having to pay for them. And to make this as easy as possible for you guys, I'm literally gonna sit here on the sofa and I'm gonna be going on this, just screen sharing, just showing you how easy it is to generate leads for any kind of business, because there really is no excuse, no excuse in 2021 for you not to be generating more customers for your company, because you can find them in many different ways. But the first thing we need to do before we actually start looking for new customers is we really need to make sure we understand who we are targeting. We need to define our customer. Who are they? What do they do on the weekend? What kind of age are they? Are they male? Are they female? What are their hobbies and interests? And most importantly, where do they hang out? What platforms do they use? Where are they best contactable? Okay, these are all the things that we need to start understanding because if not, we're gonna waste our time looking for potential clients in the wrong places. Now, of course, not all of these places we're gonna be going through today are gonna be relevant for you, but at least 80% of them will be, believe me. So before you start using the strategies we're going through today, make sure you have a solid understanding of who your customer is. So anyway, let's get straight into this. Okay, so I'm just gonna record my screen and we'll get into it. So the scenario will play out is, I am a marketing company and I'm looking for dentists. I'm looking to work with dentists, okay? Provide marketing services to dentists. Obviously adapt this to whoever you're working with. Now, the obvious place for us to begin is social media. We're in a world addicted to our mobile phones. You only have to walk down the street and see everybody scrolling through their news feeds. They're just craving those dopamine fixes. And so even if you're B2B or B2C, your customers are going to be on social media. Um, so if I'm looking for dentists, let's look on Facebook. We can do dentists near me, just in the search bar. And we can find a whole bunch of dentists in the local area that we can reach out to or put on our lead list. Um, now, of course, if we do find one we wanna work with that's suitable for us, we've qualified them, we need to further qualify and actually find the business owner's details. We always wanna make sure we're reaching out to the decision maker instead of reaching out to a business directly. So let's say this guy's name is Tim, uh, then I can click call now and I can give them a call or I can send them a message straight from uh, the Facebook page. But again, make sure we qualify and we get the business owner's details. Now, if we don't wanna do near me, we can do dentist London, for example, if we're looking further afield, and we can follow the same premise and find a whole heap of different places. Um, now, of course, this is on my mobile phone. You can do this on your, your desktop and then you'll be able to copy and paste information onto a spreadsheet much easier. So let's get rid of that and then go on Instagram. Now we can use LinkedIn, by the way, for the same premise. We can pretty much just search LinkedIn dentist near me and you'll have exactly the same results as Facebook. But LinkedIn, uh, Instagram is a little bit different. So if we were to want to go on search and we're gonna go dentist, Okay, let's just find something. Okay, this is the first one that's come up. Now, if you follow a, 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 a page on Instagram, what you will notice will come up is we have this suggest tab, okay? And this is gonna suggest loads of other similar pages to this. So here we've got a whole bunch of other dentists that we could put on our list and we could reach out to, okay? So we could follow all of these. But interestingly, this time around on Instagram, we're finding a lot of these are personal profiles. So these are pretty much gonna be decision makers straight away. Um, so that's really promising. Um, so we also kind of get rid of that little bit of qualification that we need to do. So that's how we can use social media. It really, really is that easy to find leads and reach out to customers or potential clients via social media these days. There's no excuse. Um, so Safari, let's go on, what can we do? We can do freelance websites. So we could do Upwork. Okay, so Upwork is a freelance website it's where a lot of people list jobs uh, that they need for filling. So this is where we can search for people who are actually actively looking for the service or product that you can provide to them. So if I log into Upwork right now, let me just quickly do this so you don't have to wait for me to do so. So I'm logged in and if we wanna find people that are actively looking for our service and we could go search and we could go dentist, marketing for example, I'm not sure what this is gonna pull up. Um, and we'll see if there's anything relevant to us. So, um, London Cosmetic Dentist Leads. What's this one here? Please, we would like a thousand cosmetic dentist leads. Okay, that's someone looking for leads in that industry. Um, it could be, this is web design here, presumably for dentistry. 
Um, we've got a run Facebook ad campaign to orthodontists and dentists. So this is, is going to be a dentist which is actually looking. So Facebook ad specialist who has worked with orthodontist or dentist. So here we go. We have an actual orthodontic dentist that is looking for somebody, a Facebook advertiser, marketing company to actually run their ads for them. So here is a hot lead for us. We can reach out to them and we can pitch them on our service straight away. There are other websites as well like Freelancer, which I don't have as much experience on. Um, but Upwork is a great place for you to begin if you want to have a look around freelance websites. Now, the third place we could look are forums, places like Quora, Reddit, or even Facebook groups. So if we go back over to Google, and if we search, for example, um, goodness, look at my searches here. These aren't my searches. These are, these, <laughs> these are suggested searches. Spider-Man, No Way Home, Trailer, Marvel, Witch, Queen, Destiny, Weather, Forecast, Heatwave, anyway, okay. And we can search for the actual questions our potential customers are asking. So uh, let's say how to market uh, dentists, okay, and let's do Quora. Okay, so it's gonna throw up all the searches for Quora. Uh, what are some of the best ways to market the dental practice? Perfect. Now, this is probably gonna be asked by a dentist of some sort. We can't see who's asked this on here. Um, but you can see lots of people who have actually asked these, answered this question. Now, if we wanna build an authority in our industry, a great place for us to begin is by answering these questions on behalf of people. There are loads of these kind of questions on websites like Quora from people who are looking for your services. Here you can see on more results. There's a whole bunch of people who have asked relevant questions to our industry. And therefore we can go ahead and we can answer some of these questions, provide a little bit of free value, offer them a free consultation call with us, and we can get them set up, have a discovery, get them qualified and get them signed up. Up to our service. Again, another place to be getting this slow stream of inbound leads because when we actually answer these questions for people, that's going to be evergreen on the website. Places like Quora and Reddit rank really, really well on Google and that's going to stay there forever. So you're going to build this authority in your industry and get a slow stream of inbound. Now, another place we can look, as I said, is Facebook. Okay, so we can do Facebook groups. So we'll go to Facebook, go on groups and let's go uh, dentists. Um, maybe let's do dentist marketing and see if there's any dentistry marketing groups. So we have uh, the dental business and marketing group. Okay, so we could join this group right now. And here there's going to be a whole bunch of a mix probably of other marketers looking for dentistry leads, but also a large amount of dentists who are looking for marketers to advertise their service. So we can start building a bit of authority in here, answering questions for people. We can DM people in here. There's a whole bunch of leads for our business. A nice hot bubbling pool of leads for us to start outreaching to and, and start signing up. Okay, so using forums, Facebook groups is a great place for you to begin. Number four, we can utilize live audio groups. Now, this is a new trend, relatively new trend. We've just seen the pop-up of Clubhouse. Everybody thought that social media channel was going to come and go, but it really is here to stay. A lot of people are using Clubhouse now. We now have, I think, Twitter Spaces as well and Shopify Green, no, Spotify Green Room, sorry. Um, so these are all places where we can join audio hangouts where people from relevant industries are talking about all of the things that we want to be talking about okay all the juicy stuff depending on your service so we could go on clubhouse and we can find a dentist marketing group and we see if we can provide value in that group and we can get inbound leads from that so let's just test that theory go over to clubhouse um i did use clubhouse at the start to be honest i got a bit lazy with it i haven't used it so much since um it's just finding the time to manage more pro more social media channels um, but if this is your kind of thing, then do so. So let's have a look. Dentist, founder of The Confident Dentist. Who's this guy? We can see he's the owner of The Dental Lichpin, which is presumably a clinic. He's an award-winning dentist. So this is someone that we could follow on here. We could message him and say, hey, what dentist audio groups are you are you joining? What clubhouses are you joining? Um, and yeah, can I join in? Can I have the chance to speak so you can provide some value and build a bit of authority? We can go over to clubs and we can look at, we've got cosmic, cosmetic gen dentistry here. Let's join that. We could join business of dentistry, aesthetic dentistry, the genuine dentistry. Dentist, all of these clubs that we can join and when they host these 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 club rooms then we can join them and we can start providing value and we can start speaking to potential leads okay it's like this one big group cold call where everybody's trying to stick their oar and provide enough value so somebody approaches them and allows them to sell their service to them okay so join audio groups if you're up for doing that and make sure you check out twitter spaces and uh, spotify green room as well those two i haven't played with yet so if you do that please drop me down a comment below let me know how you get on with those platforms. Okay, moving on. The fifth thing I want to explore are offline networking events. Okay, there's this big stigma in the online space for entrepreneurs where I think there's probably a little bit of ego where people just think, okay, it's not worth going to networking events. I'm just going to talk to loads of people who don't really care about and network with irrelevant businesses. But the reality of it is, is those places are where you are for 
forced in an environment to speak to people who are other business owners who are potential customers to you um, and you have to introduce yourself and you have to give them a respect because you're stood right in front of them you can't really get out of this group and I've found networking groups to be very valuable so if we want to explore networking groups we can do networking near me for example it's really easy to find these places on Google and let's just have a look and then there's normally a kind of a list of events on Google so here we go we've got, we've got events on Google um, and not all of these will be relevant to us so if you have a very niche uh, product or if you have a very niche customer base then you could do um, you could do conferences instead so for example we could do dentist conference okay so we've got a dentist conference here so we've got young dentist conference dentistry conferences we could also do dentist I wonder if we can do dentist marketing conference that'd be interesting Dental Marketing Conference 2022. Okay, here we go. So this is the kind of place we want to get to, okay? Get muddle, get muddling, get meddled in, meshed in. I can't speak today. Okay, we want to get in the midst of our potential customers, okay? We want to be rubbing elbows with these people, building a bit of rapport with them, letting them know who we are, handing out business cards, um, and just generally mixing ourselves within that, that, that hemisphere. Um, so get yourselves to marketing conferences, get yourself to relevant uh, conferences in your industry and local networking events. I'm just gonna close this on my screen right now because the next couple of notes I don't need this for. But it's very, very easy to find them events. And I think that even psychologically, away from the leads that you can find from those events, um, it puts you in the right mindset and it also immerses you in the industry so you can understand the ins and outs of your customers a lot easier and I think that 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 should not be underestimated the power of understanding your potential customer because what that's going to do is give you a deep understanding of how to connect with those people and how to sell to those people so I always think conferences are a very valuable thing to invest your time into now the next point number six that I want to dive into today is I want to dive into cold calling um, which isn't necessarily a way to find customers but it's a way to get customers it's a way to secure meetings and secure business now I'm a massive advocate of cold calling I've worked in multiple cold calling centers my first cold calling job I had to make 100 cold calls a day and believe me when I first started I was absolutely terrified I used to walk to the end of the office I'd be shaking I'd be stammering over my words I'd be reading my script like a robot but within my first three months of joining that cold calling center I was one of the best performing cold callers in the company one of the top three performers internationally and I paid off five thousand pounds worth of debt that I joined that job with and I learned that through repetition of cold calling I just got better and better with time and there really is no secret to cold calling success it's repetition and the ability to be resilient and take no a thousand times over to get that first yes and once you get that first yes you understand what words you tweaked and what to do next time now i do have a whole playlist on my channel about cold calling if that interests you i'll put a link somewhere maybe in the description go watch that after this video um, i truly believe that cold calling is one of the most effective outreach strategies even still in 2021 as this is recorded because it allows us to connect with people on a human level i think that's Sales is coming full circle, okay? We went from cold calling all the time because that was one of our only methods to then emailing all the time because it enabled lazy people. Um, and then we started messaging on social media and that's still very, very effective. Both of these ways are. But now cold calling is coming full circle because I think people crave that human interaction that they haven't necessarily got in the last couple of years because everybody's been so absorbed with technology and new forms of contacting people. So definitely, definitely make sure you're cold calling. Um, on that note, um, emailing number seven, emailing is incredibly effective as well. Again, I think it's really coming full circle. A lot of companies moved away from emailing um, and more onto social media, more onto um, other ways of, of, of outreach because they feel like it's a saturated way of contacting. But the key to successful emailing is making sure you are just unique in your outreach. Don't be copy and pasting the same message to every single person. The majority of person that doesn't have any success with email is just doing that. They copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, and they're not getting any results. Um, and that's because you're not paying your prospect respect. We have to pay respect to our potential customers. Why would they invest the time in responding to somebody that hasn't even invested the time to send them a personal outreach? So when you're emailing someone next time round, make sure you 
Add some kind of personalization right at the start. Compliment them on a new product range. Compliment them on something you've seen on their blog or on their news page or on their personal Instagram. Have some kind of way to build rapport with them and let them know that they are not the only person. They are not one of many people that you have reached out to. They need to feel like the only person that you have reached out to. So put in that extra bit of time. I would much rather reach out to 10 companies and personalize every bit of outreach then reach out to 20 companies and copy and paste the same message now that's not to be said that you can't be efficient and, and use some hacks like you can still use automatic follow-up systems that's absolutely fine but your initial outreach needs to need to need to be personalized and again i've got some email tutorials on my channel i'll put some links in the description if you want to check them out now where are we number eight what's number eight Number eight is referrals. Okay, so this is really, really important. Now, I think a lot of businesses do not or, or disregard the importance or the influence that referrals can have when getting new potential customers. When we, we work so hard to attain customers um, and retain customers, but there is a level further to, to actually acquiring a customer, and that is getting them to become our sales team. We've, we are providing a, a fantastic service, we, are provi we provide fantastic products, we ask for reviews, then we need to be asking our customers to refer us to their friends and their family. We can incentivize that through discounts, through, through freebies, or we can simply just ask for a favor. In our marketing agency, the majority of our clients come to us from referrals through existing clients, and it's the easiest sale in the world. A referral literally comes to us and sells themselves to us as opposed to the other way around and I would always take referral clients over doing cold outreach any day of the week and any established business which has great reviews great customers great products great services should be implementing an effective referral based scheme so make sure you're on, on all review sites possible get yourself on Trustpilot make sure you have an automatic follow-up system to send out to your customers maybe after working with a customer for a month or two months send them over an automatic email through your email software and uh, and ask them for a referral incentivize that if you think it's necessary but just make sure you're doing so and your business will gain a life of its own and your customers will become your sales team so that's a lot to get stuck into guys those are those are some of my, my main ways at the moment to to get clients now i've got a bonus point for you and it goes hand in hand with this video and that is becoming an authority in your space and creating relevant content to your customers now this youtube channel act as a monumental lead generator for me and my businesses for our marketing agency for our uh, agency academy for our learn ads ads training business uh, it acts as a way to provide free value to our potential customers gain their trusts and so they feel confidence in our paid products okay we always strive to give more away for free than other people have you pay for and if our free stuff is more valuable than our competitors paid stuff then just imagine how valuable our paid content is our paid products and services and so I would recommend to all companies, all business owners to start building authority in your industry. Start posting content on Instagram, start building authority on Facebook groups, build authority through Quora and Reddit or create YouTube videos. Start talking about your products or services and start educating your customers so you can build their trust. Now, this is a solid way for you to guarantee that you will not have to do cold outreach or manual outreach ever again. Your business can survive purely off inbound leads our marketing agency the affluent agency gets between 30 and 50 inbound leads every single month purely from the organic content we put out online so it requires no outbound whatsoever so that is invaluable and it's a long game and it's a slog and it requires a lot of consistency and resilience and at the start you're not really getting a lot back but believe me when you start building an authority in your industry it propels you above your competitors to levels that they can't even compete with now the other thing of course you can do which we don't really have time to go through now is you can run paid advertisement for your business now if you do want to run paid ads and that is something that we can offer for you we offer a full lead generation service using services like facebook instagram snapchat tiktok tiktok so if you do want to discuss working with our marketing agency you can click a link in the description and apply to work with us today as an alternative if you want me to create a video about how you can advertise your business online through paid ads and generate leads that way so inbound leads through paid media uh, then let me know drop me down a comment tell me put the comments paid media or paid advertising and i'll make sure i'll create a video like that in the future
So that's it from me, guys. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.